Well over a year ago, I posted this video where I reviewed the brawler type classes in Critical Strike. In that video, we talked about class strengths, class weaknesses, as well as the best and the worst classes in the brawler category. Today, we're doing that, but for the assassins. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, hello, 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 and welcome back, or welcome to the Shota Sodas official YouTube channel. In today's Critical Strike video, I'm going to take a deep look at the assassin type classes in Critical Strike. However, before this video starts, here's a quick message from channel affiliate Red Dragon. The first keyboard I ever used for my PC cost me $25 and was from a brand called Red Dragon. They're a company that specializes in high-quality gaming gear that doesn't break the bank. I was so impressed with that $25 keyboard that I asked Red Dragon if I could join their affiliate program. They said yes, and now you're getting this message. So, if you're interested in awesome gaming products for low prices, make sure to visit reddragonshop.com and use the code CHOTUS for 5% off of your order at checkout. Now, back to the video. Okay, so... Let's start with what each class is. Currently, there are a total of eight classes within the Assassin Umbrella. Thief, Ninja, Stalker, Trickster, Gambler, Dancer, Hitman, and Recon. Just like any category, these classes are all unique, but they do share similar traits and characteristics that make them all fit underneath the Assassin Umbrella. First, all of these classes have the same, relatively low, 70 health. Additionally, every Assassin has the same movement speed of 35, excluding Thief with 40 and Trickster with 30. Another defining characteristic for Assassins is that most of them have invisibility moves. These classes are Hitman, Recon, Ninja, Stalker, and Trickster. One last characteristic is exceptional mobility all throughout. Every assassin, except for Trickster and Gambler, has a mobility move that allows you to dash, jump, or leap to your opponent. But now, let's highlight the best, the worst, and the in-between assassins. Starting with the worst assassins, my picks are absolutely Trickster and Gambler. While these classes do have their strengths, they come across overall as classes that simply cannot compare to the vast majority of other classes in Critical Strike. Trickster's bleeding knives do deal significant damage, but they're very difficult to hit, and Trickster's ultimate ability is entirely negated by simply jumping. As for Gambler, it's a decent class on paper, but in the real world, it completely fails thanks to the idiotic money system from which the class gets its name. In order to deal damage with Gambler, you have to use coins. No coins, you'll have to sacrifice health. No health? Guess that means that you'll die. Anyways, moving on to classes that I would deem decent, we have Ninja, Thief, Hitman, and Stalker. These classes come across to me as being very decent overall, with no major flaws that would make them useless compared to the other classes in Critical Strike. Thief is easily one of the best beginner classes, with insane mobility and the potential for genuinely rude amounts of damage. Ninja is a well-balanced class, but fails to make itself unique in any way, so it will typically fail against skilled opponents. Stalker is definitely one of the most annoying classes in the game due to its third-party focused moveset, but as a class overall, it's definitely not terrible. Then we have Hitman. The Hitman's party trick is that it selects one player out of the other seven in a match. This selected player takes extra damage from Hitman, but also deals extra damage to the Hitman, resulting in some very interesting battles. Hitman makes this part of the list thanks to decent mobility and an easy-to-use moveset. Finally, we move on to the best classes within the Assassin Umbrella. These classes are Dancer and Recon. Let's start with Recon. I was originally going to put Recon down as a decent class, but I've realized that with just a bit of good aim, it is almost certainly the second most powerful assassin. 
The strong L and B and Q moves allow Recon to deal insane damage, while its invisibility move lasts practically forever. The only reason I don't praise Recon any further is simply due to the fact that its bomb move has such a tiny hitbox and massive activation delay. Anyways, let's move on to what is literally the best class in Critical Strike, Dancer. If you aren't familiar with the class, then it's probably difficult to understand why it's so good. So, allow me to explain. Essentially, Dancer relies on a pretty simple combo system that allows it to scale its damage to massive proportions. At a full stack of combo, Dancer's F deals a mind and health melting 40 damage, not to mention all the damage that you'll take as the Dancer builds up all of this combo. I've seen Dancers take out classes such as Juggernaut in under 10 seconds, and it is truly a sight to behold. If you want more info, make sure to watch my best class in Critical Strike video. Anyways, now it is time to summarize the Assassin classes and provide some useful info. Overall, Assassins are definitely some of the best classes in Critical Strike. They have high damage, great mobility, and relatively simple movesets. However, most Assassins have very aggressive, almost brawler-like playstyles without the brawler health. This means that the typical playstyle for an Assassin class would best be described as run and gun, since you have to run in, deal damage, and run out over and over again. This is why I personally don't really like Assassin classes, even if they are some of the most powerful in the game. But with that, it is actually now time to end. As always, if you found this video informative, then make sure to give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, then make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to use code SHOTUS at reddragonshop.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.